Welcome back to Lake Ridden. Let's continue trying to find whatever it is the ghost is trying to get us to find. connected to that. there on the shelves. It's blinking. of March. My work on the cannon is very important. I must spend every waking hour to finish it. Therefore, I've moved my equipment down to the basement. Jack was not pleased to move one of the garden gates here, but it serves him right. He does not understand the importance of my job. People are depending on me and no one can disturb me right now. 18th of March. I've created something that works. Almost. The projectiles are shooting downwards, but I'm sure that a few adjustments will solve that. 5th of April. It was perhaps not as easy to solve as I hoped. However, I will not give up. The postman is depending on me. He has not replied to my letters, but I know that he needs my help. 21st of April. It is complete and it is marvelous. I shall pack it up and wait for the postman to collect it. Miss Nellie shook her head when I showed it to her. I know that she's impressed and that she cannot find the words to express it. The postman is depending on you to make a cannon? Alright. The old man did seem a bit eccentric, but at the same time, so kind and generous. I get the feeling that we're not supposed to think of Einar as... A creep who tries to steal children off of the streets? I don't think there's anything nefarious going on with them. Mm, this is probably going to be quite hard, isn't it? Driver? Yeah. April fourteenth, nineteen oh five. Even with two spirits, it is still not enough. Maybe there's a third one somewhere. I've looked through all the places I can think of. Maybe up in the root cellar. I need to investigate that next. It feels strange being inside the house. It was always such a warm and happy place, but now so cold and empty.
even with two spirits, it's still not enough. The two spirits that we've interacted with, Nelly and I forgot the other one's name. What are they want the spirits for? Congratulations on finding the eighth puzzle box, kids! The basement used to be a distillery, but now it has a much more important purpose. This cannon is my latest invention in mail delivery technology. Powered by springs, it launches a projectile containing the mail. And why stop at mail services? This device can be used for everything from human transportation to waste disposal. I think that Einar may have inflated the importance of this device, and that's why the mailman never came back, because they didn't need it or want it, and Einar is weird, and they didn't want to hang out with them. use the screwdriver on the thing up here, the crank thing. Not exactly sure what it would do, because I don't exactly know what's wrong with this. What is wrong with it? Oh, wait, there's something on the other side. Oh, that's the cannon. Not fully assembled. side. Let's bring it back here and see what see what happens when we flip the other lever while it's here. Does that do anything? No. <laughs> oh wait, are we gonna be launching these? Aha. Uh -huh. That just kinda like fell out. I guess they did have the issue where projectiles go down. It doesn't work anymore. What? Oh, I did see a spring come off. It broke. Where'd the spring go? Perhaps I put the box out there and then put it down? I'm not exactly sure what that would accomplish, but probably something. What would that accomplish? Yeah, that doesn't really do anything, does it? If I could get on it and then lift it up, sure, but... Oh, wait. I need something to remove it with. Oh, I'm supposed to grab the springs from this. I see. Gotcha. Hey! This thing's got some power to it.
What happened, Marie? I thought I lost you. I looked everywhere. You had to be quiet. There's something else here. It's whispering to me, but I can't hear what it's saying. It's calling for me, trying to drag me in. Get me out of here, Marie! Can draw shapes on it. Oh, it's making the shape. Something followed me that night through the strange forest. The dark creature was nothing like the blue gentle spirit who again helped me get back. I wondered if I had just seen the face of whatever trapped me and Sis in there. Marie, are you awake? Have you been sleeping all day again? I had another dream. Another one? What was it this time? I was walking through a dark forest, hearing my sister calling to me. <gasps> She's in trouble! There was something else out there! I wonder what it could have been. Nora, listen. I really need to find Sophia. It has been two days already. I'm sure we'll find her with Pearl helping us. She said she'll meet us outside under the balcony. Time for another adventure! Wait, shouldn't we... <laughs> but why would she be out there? What thing? Marie, we're going to get something. Something important. What thing? What is so important? I thought you guys were helping me find my sister. I'm sure the thing we're fetching will be very helpful. Maybe not sure, sure, but you know, it will definitely not make it harder to find her. <laughs> we need to get down to the lake. There's a path over there by the trees. I think all of the lights reset because I had to reload the chapter because I encountered a bug where I somehow accidentally closed the little hatch that goes over the ladder that goes down to the basement where we just were. And, um, well, because I did that when I went to leave to come out here, I couldn't because the hatch was closed and you can't activate the hatch from the ladder. So I was stuck down there. Unfortunately, it seems to mean all our beautiful lights are off. Oh well.
path by the trees. Did, were we already over here, though? And I don't remember seeing any path down to the water. Oh, wait a minute. Was this not here before? Or was it locked, or...? says that I should thank you for helping her. But she's not thanking me, even though I'm basically running the whole operation. I am too. It's just that you haven't told us what we're after or how to get it. here. Ah, we need them to get the thing. Oh, like all then these why would you bring us out here in the first place? I guess it's up to us, Marie. I'll try to figure out what the thing is we're looking for. got a bunch of bones in the shapes of symbols, which are probably the symbols on here. Three brothers set out to find it and uh, find it and to protect their village. One brother grabbed a pitchfork, the other brought a torch. The last one went without anything. A giant beast lurked in the shadows around a village in a forest. The wolf was older than the earth itself. It tormented the villagers with its sharp teeth. One brother went south to the forest, the other went north along the moors. The last one sat down by a crossroad. He wanted to listen to the wind and the earth. The last one stared into the eyes of the creature, yet he did not flinch. He saw the creature's pain an arrow in the side. He removed it, and the creature ran off and never returned. For hours he waited, he could hear the roots grow deep in the earth, and something else, the sound of something giant approaching. I'm not sure what the orders of these are. Maybe I need to put them in the correct order. But we'll get to that in a minute. I think we have something else down here. It's locked. I still have Miss Nelly's keys. Ah, oh, dang. April 18th, 1905. I finally managed to sneak it out without Pearl noticing. Just a precaution before I go up to the root cellar. Just hoping Jack didn't tell her about last night. Just a precaution before I go to the root cellar. That's probably what Pearl is searching for, whatever this thing is. 
it might not be a good thing that I'm helping Pearl. Congratulations on finding the ninth puzzle box, kids! Since you like Jack's story so much, here is an even better one by me. There once was a man living on a big estate. He was a great man and did great things and everyone liked him. On his land lived another man. This man was ungrateful and rude, but everybody liked him anyway. One day, he got stung by a bee and died. <laughs> The end. All right, great story. I noticed it looks quite bright in here. Like, is there something hiding in here? Or is it just a weird light? I think it's just a weird light. Make sure I have all the pieces before I start trying to solve the puzzle. I think I do. So we have five pillars, each one with its own story. Symbols don't appear to have anything to do with it. There are symbols on the stones, but they're all faded and there's a million of them. And I don't even think they match these symbols. Nah. Yeah, I don't think the symbols there matter. I think I'm supposed to... probably supposed to match up the story with the symbols. Like, for example, I remember this one had a lot of numbers. Three brothers. One brother. Grabbed a pitchfork. Like, I think I have a pitchfork type thing. This, I guess? Sorta? Does each one have a number associated with them? Like the number of bones, maybe? I mean, this one has three. This one has two. This one also has two. So I don't know if it's about the number. This one has a bunch. Maybe one main one, I guess? This one clearly has three, but... I don't know if it's about the number, or... Perhaps... Hmm. I'm not sure. So what do I... What am I supposed to do with these? Like, put them here? Or put them on each... So I need to figure out which one is associated with each stone. So I don't think the order matters. There should be one associated with this, I guess. One brother grabbed a pitchfork, the other brought a torch. The last one went without anything. But see, that seems to mention like three of them. So uh, let's do the others, perhaps. Giant beast. Wolf is older than the earth itself. It tormented the villagers with its sharp teeth. Sharp teeth, I think, is the key one. That looks like a tooth. I guess you could also kind of say this sort of looks like a jaw, kinda, but I think it's this. That is a tooth, right? I think so. One brother went south to the forest, the other went north along the moors. The last one sat down by a crossroad. Crossroad. Perhaps this, then? I guess a could kind of be this one. Uh, no, I think it's this. Stared into the eyes of the creature, yet he did not flinch. He saw the creature's pain, an arrow in the side. So we have a reference to eyes and an arrow. Um, none of these look like an arrow to me. This, I guess, kind of could be an eye. I guess. For hours he waited, he could hear the roots grow deep in the earth, and something else, the sound of something giant approaching. 
roots and something giant. These look like roots to me. So then what would this be? A pitchfork. Oh wait, pitchfork. This, this is a pitchfork. Unfortunately, I did not get those right though. It looks like we're gonna have a couple left over. So what might, might I be wrong with? Roots. These, this really feels like roots. That looks like a bunch of roots. This pitchfork, I feel really confident about that. This one, the sharp teeth. Forest, sharp teeth. This looks like a tooth. But this also looks like a jaw, so... That didn't do anything. Crossroad. Wind in the earth. That's gotta be this. That's gotta be that. This one I'm pretty unsure about. Eye of the creature. An arrow. Eye of the creature. An arrow. I guess that could also be an eye of a creature. I can also just try them all. All right. I think this looks most like an eye, actually, the more I look at it. Super confident. Super confident. Not confident. Super confident. Moderately confident. Yes, I'm trying random combinations, don't judge me. Okay, none of those worked. Hmm. Are there more of these pillars than I think, and I do have to use them all? Because I'm being left with two left over. Am I missing something? Yeah, there's something I'm just not getting about this. Let's check the hidden system. The small bone charms and the stones with holes in them. How are they connected? Maybe I should take a closer look at the stones. Done. There's something written on the stones. Maybe it's connected to the bone charms. Yep. The bone charms can be hung in the holes of the stones. To know which charm is the right one, I should look for clues in the story written on the stones. Yep. Once the charms are in place, they can... They can be rotated? The right order can be read from the story written on the stones. Oh, wait. How? How? This is staring in the eye? Yeah. They can... Once the charms are in place, they can be rotated. What are you talking about? I'm not seeing any prompt for rotating. Just this hand, which is just to take it. I looked at a wiki for this puzzle, and I'm just reading the first part. It says, for this one, we should have the three bone charm. Okay, now we can rotate them, right? Yeah. Huh. So this one mentions three brothers, so that's why it needs the three bone charm, but it also mentions a pitchfork, which that other charm looks very much like. Okay. It's cool, I just like seeing him rotate. Okay, so I think we need to get them in the right order now. Three brothers set out to find it and to protect their village. Okay. A giant beast. The wolf was older than the earth itself. It tormented the villagers with its sharp teeth. Okay, this one I think is before the other one. It might be the first one. Right, there is a threat in the woods. This is in response to it. That's in response to it. That's in response to it. So this is the first one. Giant beast lurked in the shadows around a village in the forest. Then the three brothers set out to find it. Then what? One went south to the forest. Uh, yeah, so first the threat comes. Then the three brothers respond to it. Then it says where the brothers went to. 
And then this one mentions the creature and taking the arrow out of it. For hours he waited. Something else, the sound of something giant approaching. Oh, so something giant approached. And then they took the arrow out of the creature. Okay. Giant beast lurked. Yep. Then the three brothers set out. Then what the three brothers did. Then the one sitting at the crossroads heard it approaching. And then took the arrow out. Alright. Great. Perfect. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with this puzzle. I don't know if it's just me or if it's just a bad puzzle. But I looked up the solution. Exciting. Pearl, what do we do with the tube? Hey! Don't fly off without at least telling us what it is! <laughs> Bye! Pearl said she'll meet us back at Jack's cabin. The one next to the laundry. There's apparently someone we need to meet. I wonder who it could be. Someone looking for a tube, I bet. There's the tube. It's a typewriter. How's that a typewriter? Is that a typewriter part? Can't be an entire typewriter. Yeah, it's a typewriter part. <laughs> What am I supposed to do here? I'm Marie. Listen, I'm just trying to find my sister Sophia. What do you mean, not safe? Can you help me find her or not? I think she's in trouble. Okay, but promise you'll help me? What do you need me to do? Second hidden hatch in the master's bedroom. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're gonna go find the other hatch and do some detectivery to earn Jack's trust. <laughs>